What's up guys, War here, and today I'm going to give you a beginner's guide on prefixes and suffixes in Path of Exile. Let's get it. Alright guys, so you're probably wondering, prefixes and suffixes, what are they? What are all these random, all of these different powers or affixes or attributes or whatever you want to call them all these different things on a character on any of the gear pieces that you get it can be a bit overwhelming so in today's guide we're going to break down all of these how you get them how many you can have what they do the whole shebang coming from a complete big beginner and this is like our beginner master class i've been playing path of exile for a few months now and i've been absolutely enjoying it r.i.p to diablo 4 and I'm going to kind of just break people down. I, we stream three days, four days a week on Twitch and YouTube, guys. Twitch.tv backslash Warlug, as well as YouTube is the same channel. So come check us out. It's a huge community. We're always trying to help everybody, but I keep getting asked about this. So I want to break this down and just kind of show you guys what everything is, what they mean, and how you get them, etc. So prefixes and suffixes, what are they? Prefixes and suffixes are going to be additional attributes that you get on your gear okay they're going to be additional attributes that you get on your gear all right so i'm going to go over to the currency tab and i'm going to kind of just show you typically you get a normal piece of gear it's going to be gray it's not going to have any affixes on it it's going to be completely blank nothing on it right so if you press alt on your keyboard i don't know what it is on console but if you press alt on your keyboard it kind of brings up the additional information on the gear piece. So this has zero. Typically, normal gray items or normal items are not going to have them. You have to make them magic. So as soon as we can make them magic, this is when we start getting prefixes and suffixes. So prefixes and suffixes are attributes that are going to add to your gear piece to make it stronger and do certain things. So in this case, we have plus two evasion and plus two maximum energy shield as well as plus to accuracy okay notice how we only have one prefix one suffix on any magic item you're only going to be able to have one each you're going to be able to gain more and we're going to talk about that in a minute but prefixes and suffixes are separate modifiers they are within even though they're modifiers they're two separate categories of modifiers what do i mean by that Prefixes are a separate modifier, as well as suffixes are a separate modifier. On our crafting bench, this can really highlight this. Prefix, and then we have suffix modifiers. Okay, I'm going to turn all these off. So suffix modifiers are going to be different, okay, than our prefix modifiers. All right? Now, all right, well, war, we kind of get an understanding of what prefixes and suffixes are. They're going to add and enhance our gear pieces to make them stronger and do certain things. Okay, now how many can we have? On a magic piece, you can only have two. Now, even though this has three lines, you can see that the prefix modifier of spirit is giving us two different abilities on there, the evasion and maximum energy shield. There is going to be some that do this. However, that is still considered only one prefix and then we have accuracy for one suffix as you can see over here we have a boatload of these and we'll get into that in just a second now on a magic item you can, or on a gray item you can have zero on a magic item you can have two and then on a rare item you can have much more than that so on a rare item you can have up to three suffixes and three prefixes now we are not going to get into the searing exarch of implicits um, and other enchantments and stuff later that's more of an advanced guide but this is just a beginner's guide for those who are really experienced in the campaign and starting to get gear yellow gear um ain't you know unique or legendary gear pieces just to kind of get an understanding all right so on a yellow piece you can have a maximum of three suffixes which you see here we have three suffixes which are the increased global accuracy the increased rarity as well as lightning resistance and then we only have one prefix which means in reality we can add two more prefixes to this by exalt slamming we could just add two it's not a big deal all right i want to show here you can see that we have three here 
We got three prefixes in max life evasion, rarity, suffix, suffix, suffix. Okay, we got three and three. All right, that's why it looks like it's so loaded. All right. Now, when you make a rare piece and you only have two on each, you can add some. This can come in the in the ways of crafting on your bench. You can add some and it'll show you. Right. So I have. What do I have? I have three suffixes. So you can see that suffixes are all red because I can't add a third one. I already have three. So I can add a prefix because I only have one. So as an example, let's just add um, maximum life. So we crafted this. That's why it says master crafted prefix. Now you can still see that we still have one prefix max life and then we have a second one which is the evasion we can still add a third one this can come in a variety of ways which we'll talk about in another video such as crafting but prefixes we can have three on each now these prefixes can range from resistances health bonuses defense bonuses as well as attack bonuses and damage bonuses um, there's also miscellaneous stuff like you can see here which an increase of rarity items so that way we get 12% more rarity of items that we find when we're doing our mapping or going through the campaign, killing bosses, etc. Prefixes and suffixes seem to, be, you know, they can be a little bit confusing. But if you know you can only have three suffixes and three prefixes, you are set. So when you're going through and you're just kind of grinding and getting gear, just keep that in mind when you're trying to get certain qualities or attributes that you're looking for on a prefix or a suffix okay now there's a lot of variety in other additional things i want to talk about one other thing because this comes a lot with our legendary and or unique items because they're the same so at the top there you're going to see that it says plus 10 percent to elemental resistances and this is what's called an implicit modifier this is going to be separate from any suffix or prefix. What an implicit is, is it's a modifier that cannot be changed, or, it, or I let me rephrase, it can be changed to another implicit, but the implicit modifier will always be there no matter what you do to the item, okay? So if I have an implicit item, let me see if I have another one that has an implicit on there. Let me do this. Actually, we could do this really quickly. This is perfect. This is a different kind of implicit, but it'll work the same way. So at the top there, we have two implicits from the Eater of Worlds and the Searing Exarch. The implicits work the same way, whether they're from Eater of Worlds or the Searing Exarch, or if they're just a normal implicit modifier that's put on an item. So we come back here, you notice it's magic. If I make it gray, the implicits always stay there. They will never leave. If I make it rare, they're always there no matter what at the top. That's why we have a gold line underneath. And you can see we have one prefix and then we have three suffixes underneath. If I gray it again and I make it rare again, they just never move. So implicits on items are really nice because they're permanent modifiers that are just never changed on your build or your gear or whatever you're doing. Now in a more advanced video, we can definitely change these. We can swap them out, we can enchant, we can do a lot of things, but we're gonna talk about that later. This is a beginner's guide for all of those that are really getting into Path of Exile and just wanna know what implicits and suffixes are on your gear pieces. Now, there's, now on this piece here, I wanna go over one more thing just so if people have a question about it. You can see that on my claw here, you have an increased attack speed and it's gold. So you can also see that my claw here has grant 46 life per enemy hit. The grant 46 life per hit is an implicit, which can never be changed in theory. And then we have a suffix of increased attack speed, but you're like war. Well, why is it gold? Gold means that it is a fractured attribute, which means it acts just like a implicit. So if I was to break down this gear piece not only would the grants 47 or 46 life stay but the 27 percent increased attack speed stay so if you find a fractured item which is why the claw looks so shiny there compared to this claw which isn't 
that's why that will always be there and again we have another claw here and i can show you we go over to currency we break it down 46 life is always going to be there that's an implicit that will never change okay so you also have the fractured which is why it's gold and that will also never change i'm not going to do it on this claw piece because this claw, claw piece is essential for my build but even here you can see that i i only have two prefixes and three suffixes so i can still add one more but i'm not going to do that at the moment so yeah guys those are implicits and suffixes for complete beginners i know this is a big intro uh, guy, even if you're just like kind of returning and you haven't played Path of Exile in a while, you need a refresher. I really do appreciate all of you guys watching. Make sure to like the video. Comment down below all you new players or just early players like me. You're a few months in. If you have any questions, comments, maybe there's something I missed, let me know. Additional tips down in the comment section is much appreciated. I really do thank you guys. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications, guys. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.